hands on that cousin of mine. I can't believe Phonebone would just leave me out here wandering around helpless and hungry. I'll bet he's back in Boneville right now sitting in my house eating my food. Hey, shut up. I just ate a stick an hour ago. What do you want from me? Uh, uh, what a travesty. The most cherished and respected, not to mention wealthy as Bone in Boneville, out in the woods, fending off the elements with his bare hands, forced to eke a miserable existence amidst the rocks and mud. No oh, cruel, cruel fate! Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? God, I pity me. Hey, you! Wake up! The name's Phony Bone, the richest bone in Boneville. You probably heard of me. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Hey! Let's kick that pea-sized dinosaur brain in high gear, huh? Would it help if I asked the question slower? Have. You. Seen. Phone. Bone. Around. Uh, hey, mister. Maybe you better let me help you. Yeah, maybe I better. The message could take days before it reaches this guy's brain. How's about we take a few steps off starboard and out of firing range? And I'll answer your questions for you. Oh, yeah? And who are you? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. Spare the details, friend. I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Phone? Oh yeah, I've seen him. You have? I'm saved! Where is he? Eh, don't know. Ain't seen him since before she snowed. Ha! <laughs> Likely story, bug. Take me to your leader. Take you to my leader? Come on, come on, I ain't got all day. Uh, who should I take you to? I need answers, bug. I demand satisfaction. I guess I could take you to see Thorne's grandma. Fine, fine, whatever. But I gots to warn you. She's an old lady and might not take too much to your attitude. <laughs> Don't worry, Bug. There ain't a woman alive that can resist my charms. Okie dokie. I was just warning you. Well, move it out, Bug. This is taking forever with those little legs of yours. Okie dokie. Ah. Hi, Grandma. How you doing? Well, hello, Ted, dear. Grandma, this here fella been asking to meet you. Oh, he looks like such a nice young man. Would he like to ride one of my racing cows? No, I don't want to ride one of your stupid cows. Ted, dear, I think you'd better leave. I'ma tear this little fella apart from the inside out. Uh, yes, ma'am. See you around, pal. <laughs>